This is Matt, and these are the metal vinyl releases for September 2021. Starting with September 3rd, we have one of the most anticipated albums of the year. Of course, I'm talking about the 17th studio album for British metal legends Iron Maiden. This is Senjutsu, to be released by Parlophone in Europe and Warner in the U.S. Standard vinyl variant will be 3 LP, 180 gram black. That will be widely available. There are also two special editions to be uh, looking out for. One is red and black marble vinyl. Uh, mostly independent record stores will have this one in Europe, HMV in the UK, and Walmart in the US. The other special edition is in silver and black marble. This will be available from select retailers, including independent record stores, as well as Amazon. Of course, there is a music video for the track The Writing on the Wall. It's a pretty good song. The animation is pretty cool, too. I suggest you check it out. More recently, there was an audio uh, version released for Stratego. Uh, both of these are available on the Iron Maiden YouTube channel, so check them both out to get a good idea of the album. Funny thing is, this album came out, or actually was recorded, rather, in 2019, but then, of course, COVID came, and there wasn't much opportunity to promote the album. So a lot of bands kind of hang on to the recordings until now, for the most part. Uh, some people are okay with that. Some people are a little impatient. It is Iron Maiden, after all. People get rather excited when an Iron Maiden album comes out. So I'm pretty good with it, and yeah, I'm going to get this one. Love the Maiden. Also on September 3rd will be the fifth studio album for Swedish metal band Portrait. This is At One With None, to be released by Metal Blade Records. Vinyl variant for Europe is 180 gram black vinyl, unspecified number of copies, gold vinyl at 300 copies, silver vinyl at 200 copies, and red with black dust vinyl at 200 copies. And the vinyl variant for the US is green vinyl in an unspecified number of copies. There's also going to be a deluxe box set in a hard covered box, a white vinyl, exclusive 7 inch will be included, a back patch, art print, and a hand signed photo card. Those will be limited to 500 copies. Um, the a record also comes in a gatefold jacket with a lyric sheet, poster, and download card. There are music videos, of course, for this record. Uh, Phantom Fathomer is one, as well as the song Curtains. You can find both of those at the Metal Blade YouTube channel. I'm really digging the traditional and power metal leanings of this band, um, so I might have to pick this one up. Uh, seriously, check out those videos to see what I mean, though. They're a pretty good band. Also on September 3rd will be a reissue of Behemoth's 1995 debut album, Sventavith, Storming Near the Baltic. That will be released by Metal Blade Records. A vinyl variant for Europe is 180 gram black vinyl and an unspecified number of copies. Clear beige brown marbled vinyl at 700 copies. Silver vinyl at 300 copies. White and black marbled vinyl at 200 copies. Clear with black dust vinyl at 200 copies. And gold with black dust vinyl at 200 copies. Uh, the US variant will be clear ash gray marbled vinyl in an unspecified number of copies. Um, this also comes in a gatefold jacket along with a 24-page booklet and a download card. Um, I've been enjoying a lot of the modern behemoth these days, and I know their early stuff is a lot more different, so I need to look into that before getting this, but I know a bunch of diehard fans of this band will jump at this release, so if you're one of those, have at it. Moving on to September 10th, we have a new live album for German power metal band Gamma Ray. This is 30 years live anniversary to be released by Ear Music. So this album was recorded on August 27th, 2020 at ISS Dome in Dusseldorf and was originally web streamed, which means, yes, this is another live stream performance. Some like these, some don't like these, so it's always worth mentioning. Uh, vinyl variants include three LP black, either with or without the Blu-ray copy of the performance, as well as a limited three LP colored vinyl set with the Blu-ray disc. Uh, the versions with the Blu-ray disc seem to be non-US releases, so keep that in mind. Of course, there are video clips available from this performance, uh, one for the track Land of the Free and the other for Lust for Life. Uh, check those out at the Ear Music YouTube channel. Uh, Gamma Ray really isn't my bag. I know there are a lot of Gamma Ray fans out there. Also, the Halloween fans dig the Gamma Ray quite a bit. Um, they're probably looking forward to this, and if you're one of those, you should definitely check this out. Also on September 10th is a 30th anniversary remastering of Metallica's biggest selling album. You might know it better as the Black Album. It's going to be released 
by Blackened Recordings. Uh, two vinyl variants will be available for this one. Uh, the first will be a 2LP 180 gram black vinyl set. The other will be a deluxe box set, which includes the album, a picture disc, three live LPs, 14 CDs, six DVDs, 120 page hardbound book, and a bunch of collectibles. Speaking of the box set, there's a rather surprising YouTube video out there right now of former Metallica bassist Jason Newstead actually unboxing this thing. Uh, more amazingly, it's at the official Metallica YouTube channel. So I highly recommend it, not just because it's weird, but it's cool to see Jason again. You know, he's a, he's a big part of this album, so he should be doing this. Uh, believe it or not, I'm actually eyeing this box set, uh, whose extras seem actually better than the record itself including those live shows. Um, I already have the standard LP reissue of this album from years back, but there's that box set. I might get it. $240. I know, it's crazy, but I don't know. Still leaning towards it. We'll see what happens. Also on September 10th will be a live album from Guar entitled Scum Dogs Triple X Live to be released by Pitt Records. Probably one of the big sell points for this is the return of some beloved Guar characters, in this case, Slamenstra Hyman, Sleazy P. Martini, Sexecutioner, and Tecto Destructo, uh, just in case that might sway your buying decision. Uh, the album is basically the entire Scum Dogs of the Universe album performed live, along with a couple other classic Guar tracks. Final variants depend heavily on where you get this. At the official Guar website, it's Spotlight Blue or Blue Marble, the latter which will also be available at Amazon, Rough Trade, and other dealers. And Newberry Comics will have an exclusive red marbled vinyl variant at their site, if interested. A video clip is available for the track Love Surgery from the performance. It's found at the Guar YouTube channel. Looks pretty good. I would suggest checking it out. So yeah, Guar's okay. Uh, Scum Dogs is pretty much their best work, so will I get this? I don't know. Maybe. Moving on to September 17th, we have yet another highly anticipated record, the first LP for this band in eight years. Of course, I'm talking about the seventh studio album for British extreme metal band Carcass. This is Torn Arteries, to be released by Nuclear Blast Records. Uh, there have been a crazy number of vinyl variants for this title, many of which are already sold out in pre-order, and more variants are basically popping up every week, it seems. Uh, some include red vinyl, green vinyl, and blue swirl with red vinyl for the US, as well as mold, marbled, white and red splatter, and classic black for the European market, and likely there'll be more, as it seems Nuclear Blast just keeps adding variant after variant to their site all the time, as I said. Uh, if interested, there are other variants over at Earache's web store, this time in blood red splatter, flesh pink marbled vinyl, and yellow and black splatter vinyl. Also, a rather intriguing box set variant is coming out for this. Uh, it includes a splatter vinyl variant of the record, the CD, a 24-page booklet, and believe it or not, a porcelain plate with stainless steel fork and knife dinnerware set. Uh, get ready to shout about $120 US for that novelty. Uh, I really dug the 10-inch that came out not too long ago, so I'm likely going to be pre-ordering this on the strength of that. So, yeah, I dig Modern Carcass. Also on September 17th will be the 25th studio album for German power metal band Rage. This is Resurrection Day to be released by Steamhammer slash SPV. Vinyl variants include a 2LP 140 gram orange vinyl version, an unspecified number of copies, as well as a Napalm Records exclusive white and orange splatter variant, limited to 200 copies. There are two music videos for this album. One is for Virginity, the other is for Monetary Gods. You can find both of those videos at the SPV Entertainment YouTube channel. Uh, I definitely want to check out more about this release. I'm kind of into this band a little bit. I've been listening to them lately. Uh, so this record is definitely on my radar. We'll see what happens. They're a pretty good band, though. Also on September 17th will be a long-awaited vinyl reissue for fans of the Prince of Darkness himself. That's right, the sixth studio album for Ozzy Osbourne, known as No More Tears, is going to be reissued by Legacy Recordings. This is the album's 30th anniversary. In fact, September 17th is the exact date in 1991 when the original came out, so that's pretty cool. Vinyl variants will be 2LP 180 gram black vinyl in wide release, as well as a Tower Records exclusive in red and yellow vinyl. That's one red record and one yellow record. The Tower Records version will also come with an exclusive photo booklet, but both versions come in a gatefold jacket. 
course, when this album was new, there were music videos, uh, one for Mr. Tinker Train, one for the title track, and one for Mama, I'm Coming Home. Just in case you haven't seen one, two, or all three of those, they are available at the Ozzy Osbourne YouTube channel. I suppose I could hunt for an OG of this title if I wanted to, but it might just be easier to get this one. As is often the case with 90s albums, sometimes I just go after the reissues, because that was the era of CDs. You know the story. Um, this is a classic. I know a lot of people are wanting this one on vinyl, myself included, so I'm strongly considering this edition. And moving on to September 24th, expect the fourth studio album for American tech death band Rivers of Nile. This is the work to be released by Metal Blade Records. Final variants for Europe are 180 gram black vinyl and an unspecified number of copies, silver with blue and black splatter vinyl at 500 copies, and natural clear with black and red splatter vinyl at 300 copies. For the U.S., there will be aqua blue slash canary yellow galaxy vinyl, as well as white slash cyan blue galaxy vinyl, both of which in an unspecified number of copies. Also, some distro-specific variants out there to mention. Uh, Crystal Clear with white and turquoise splatter vinyl will be a King's Road exclusive and limited to 200 copies. Red and white melt vinyl will be an EMP exclusive, limited to 200 copies. Transparent Orange with black swirl vinyl will be an Eyesore exclusive, limited to 300 copies. And Silver and black marble vinyl will be an Empiricon exclusive, limited to 200 copies. It also comes in a gatefold jacket with a two-sided colored insert and a download card. As for music videos, there'll be at least one to check out so far uh, for the track Clean, and you can find that at the Metal Blade YouTube channel. Um, I've heard some material from this band in the past, and I've really dug it, so maybe I'll pull the trigger on this one. We'll see. Of course, if you know of any metal vinyl releases this month, future months, forever in the future, I don't even care, let me know in the comments, let me know the artist, the album name, the release date, all that stuff. Super helps me out, not just in my own buying decisions, but to mention on this show in future months. So definitely let me know, because sometimes I miss some bands. I mean, I'm getting old, the brain goes, what can I do? So if you enjoyed this video, or you found it helpful, or you just wanted to see my Wax Tracks t-shirt, definitely give me one of these. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Share the video with some friends. Speaking of Wax Tracks Records, since I'm talking about the shirt, I did do a Record Store Report episode recently on this place. You should definitely check that out. It's a pretty good video. You could probably check out all my playlists. This is the Accusation Network. I do metal vinyl collecting videos. I do go to record stores, as I said. As you now know, I do upcoming metal vinyl releases, but I also do vinyl hauls and a whole lot of other stuff. So check out all those playlists. I think it'll be a good time. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for even more metal vinyl releases coming next month.